it looks like I need a new haircut, but no time. No time. We're super busy building, creating all this content about Throne of Liberty for you guys, right? So today we're talking about the Wand and Stuff Mage Healer, the class that we all love, super fun class, much more fun than other healers. And yes, it's a good healer class. You can see my other videos about the PvP. This is the PvP game, right? Throne of Liberty. But still, in this game, we have AoE grind and we have cop dungeons. Cop dungeons are super easy. Like, look at these videos when you have proper combat power. Like, you don't even need a tank or healer in the dungeon. You just go and kill the Ant Queen in 45 seconds. Like, look at that shit. Like, it's super easy. But you definitely will grind a lot open dungeons and we will talk about the build specifically skills how to grind them faster alone solo you can do it with this class solo super easily let's go don't forget to subscribe right my name is plk all the content about run liberty is here in comment just put what the next video you want from me and let's go i mean just look at these new skins yeah baby damn damn that the skins are looks pretty pretty good so the build what we need, we need a lot of spells which will hit AoE and we need to live while we're hitting so many mobs at the same time. So this is the skill build. That's the end of the video. See you. Bye. Anyway, look at these videos that I'm showing you right now. Look, I can gather a lot of mobs, right? That's the main point of this build. I can gather a lot of mobs, hit them with different type of AoE damage which will be consistent and direct and also it will be dots on the ground. Mobs will be damaged during the time, that's what we need. And also while we do our Q, which is defense skill, we'll also apply to them the touch of despair, which is still blue. Everything else is purple, but this is still blue. So you don't need a really, really high end, end game gear, build, skill, blah, 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 blah. You just need these things and you can grind a lot. Where? You can grind a lot. In Sourdoma Island, you can grind a lot. And Silius Abyss in 5th and 6th floor. Easy Shadowed Crypt and easy Sanctum of Desire. So Shadowed Crypt is super small for now. First and second level. So it will be a lot of people there. You can't grind solo there. You can grind solo a lot in Sirius Abyss, 5th and 6th floor, like alone. You can't do it in Sanctum of Desire. You can't. It will be a lot of people. And you can grind solo a lot here to get all this, you know, tasty loot that we want to. So, the build. As I said, you can make a lot of lightning damage. So we have Chain Light. You can make a lot of direct damage. And it's UE, Focus Fire Bombs. This thing hit like 8k and with your heavy attack chance, you know, it will hit a lot. Then you need, you know, to spread the touch of despair to have additional stuff, Vampiric Contra. It restore a lie health by 11% of the damage due to a victim of the user curse. So you restore your health when all of the mobs have this dot. And also when the mobs have this dot, it looks like when you hit just normal lightning or fireball, you get a lot of HP as well. So basically, when you gather, and like, for instance, these lizards on Sarodoma Island, they try to hit you with a purple skill, you know, you block it, and all of your dots spread, then you're basically unkillable, because your health goes back super fast. That's how you can survive. Now you have your big judgment lightning, big damage. This thing, fire barrage, you can change it definitely to something like Inferno Wave just to... It's not a big damage with Inferno Wave, but you keep stacks of the fire for yourself. So you will have additional heavy chance attack. That's good. But I just like to, you know, to kill mobs just to finish some of the solo mobs with this one. Then you have Invincible Wall just, you know, to survive more. Then you have this thing, high focus for yourself. So cooldown speed, it's really important for you in this thing. Time punishment for some mobs, just put on them. You can change it with something like curse explosion, but I really like to keep my curses on the mobs because of the healing thing. All of the heals except of this one, you just need to survive. Look at this, like during the videos you see whatever mobs stun me, like few more hits and I almost die, then you just click this barrier and few heals from the fifth healing and you are done and solo right and you need the thunder blessing which is like you need a lot of mana you need to be sustainable you know like autonomous also get a lot of damage from this thing so from the perspective of the mastery 
we take him one because we just the healers we need a lot of heals with heavy attack chance additional this one and then we go to the weekend because it's weekend chance it's mana regeneration you can also do it with the stuff so you will keep this one cooldown speed and additional damage but i prefer what you can change for instance from this thing to the inferno meteor for the big damage and I mean, but that's too long cooldown. This thing is like to kill the solo mob with fire barrage is working pretty well. Now, passes. You need a lot of passes for the damage. So this one for the heavy attack chance when you stay. This one additional HP and mana. Of course, the additional heavy attack chance and burning damage. We have a lot of burning damage here from this one. Additional skill boost. You definitely need that. And you will have less mana and you will go um much faster. But with this skill you don't care. It's additional damage and you are completely re restore your mana in one skill. Then some heals. You just need them. Just, just keep these skills always on your top. And this one. Very important. It's still blue actually. But it will restore a lot of your HP. Now we use Hakautic Shield just to spread your dots on the mobs. And now let's talk about skill specialization, right? So, Touch of Despair, we make it AOE. And I'll do it fast because I have so many other videos on my channel about this class. You can check gear, you can check skills on PvP and PvE, just now we're talking about AOE grind, right? So you need skills just in case, you need AOE Touch of Despair, you need AOE Shield just in case if you have party or I'm actually using this build for the Cold Dungeons as well. So it's just one build for PvE grind, right? So you need these shields. If you change this one time of punishment to the Inferno Wave, you have additional points to use them to something like stacks. This one, more burning stacks, and you need that for additional damage, like this, and additional cooldown decrease, right? So you will use it much more time. Then the full fireball with a big focused firebomb, so it will be big charge, one hit, huge one all for the lightning because it's main damage i think for the aoe this thing for the thunder blessing just to have this additional damage if you will get rid of from the fire barrage you can skip it but you know i told you already i like to finish the solo mobs like this additional damage for the high focus judgment lighting almost everything so you basically go for the fifth floor of the silius abyss or sourdoma island you gather a lot of mobs and you keep it like you need to choose some room where you have a lot of mobs you just run you don't stay you always try to run around around the circles of the lightning on the floor when you stay you always waiting for the purple skills from the mobs you press q you spread the dot then you start to do the your fireball when you walk so they will not hit you with the purple ones the only thing that you really really don't want to have it's stun if you will be stunned it's easy to be killed you know and with the not proper gear you will be killed easily so you always need to deflect it with the q or you need to walk when you do that look at that you have a lot of damage in the party solo alone so you will grind all these things super easy and with all this thing, you are obviously using the scrolls for these dungeons. And with these scrolls, you have additional pouches and you have super cool stuff like additional weapon. You sell it to the auction and so on and so on. But this class, this class is mega, mega, mega good with the, uh, with the skin, actually. Mm, look at that. But with the AOE grind. It was super easy video, super small, just, you know, to level up, to spice up a little bit of your AOE grind game. This class is super fun for this one. So just put in the comment below what do you think about what other things we can change to grind better. Other than that, the next one will be about arenas and next one will be about wound and bow build. So just, you know, keep subscribing to the channel. Please keep like the video if you like the video and I'll see you in Drone Liberty, the next one. See you. Bye.